Hello Booktube, hello everyone watching, uh, my name is Paul and today I would like to run through some biographies that I have that I find very interesting. So uh, that's what I thought I would do for you today. Um, so the first one that I'd like to show you is, it's a biography of Captain James Cook. I read this maybe about a year and a half ago now but it's an excellent biography very very interesting you know goes back of course to the, the late 1700s and covers Cook's adventures down to try and map um, regions of the world especially towards the south Antarctic around those areas and yeah very interesting, very impressive. The things that have stayed with me from this book are the way that he looked after his men on board the boat. He was one of the first uh, sea captains to really understand the benefits of proper nutrition for his men, for his sailors, to prevent disease and to ensure the, that things went smoothly. So that's maybe not his greatest achievement, but it's something that, that, that sticks in my mind, you know, the humanity of the man, the, um, the desire that he had to look after people. And uh, the other big thing that sticks in my mind with this one is the unfortunate way that he met his end. You know, he, he was always a man of very sound judgment and very clear thinking individual. And that was my impression of him anyway. And towards the end, for some reason, he started to lose his mind. He started to lose his judgment and it was very, very off. And that's what ultimately led to making some unfortunate decisions that um, ultimately cost him his life. So, uh, but yes, a very, very interesting book. I recommend that to anyone that's interested in history, um, especially the history of discovery uh, around the, uh, the late 1700s and uh, the sea voyages of this famous man and discoveries that he made. Really incredible. So that's Captain James Cook. Uh, the next book that I have, um, I'm going to be very brief on because I'm afraid I'm going to be, if anyone's watched any of my previous videos, they're going to quickly, it's going to um, become apparent very quickly how predictable I am. So I'm going to mention this again and it's Mary Queen of Scots by Antonio Fraser. Uh, needless to say, a wonderful historical biography. And I don't need to say much on this because I've already spoken about this book, but needless to say, fantastic. Uh, the next one is a writer that again I have touched on in previous videos, but this is the biography of Dr. Oliver Sacks, and it's called On the Move, A Life. And as much as, I mean I am a big fan of Oliver Sacks, but I hesitated to pick this book up and the reason was that I had already read several of his other books and within those books he touched on his life and different aspects of his life and I felt that I knew, already knew quite a lot about him and I wondered how much I would really get from a biography. But uh, I find myself one Christmas, I think after one Christmas with a book token and I really didn't know what to get and I ended up buying this with it. And it was a great move because this is a, a very, very interesting book. He's led some life and he wasn't always the kind of mild-mannered, gentle kind of doctor that we know him to be from his later years. He had quite a life when he was in his youth and it's well worth a read. So, if you're, 
if anyone's interested in all their socks, I highly recommend that you pick this one up. Very interesting read. Uh, now the next one is a biography of Frank Bruno, very famous heavyweight boxer here in the UK and across the world, um, who after his fighting career was over suffered from depression and had a bit of a battle with uh, mental illness and this book is about his um, struggles with mental illness and his recovery from it and there's a little bit of a story to this book. I was in Glasgow uh, one time, I think I was down there for a concert or something and quite by chance I was walking by the bookshop in Glasgow, I think it was Waterstones and Frank Bruno was there doing a signing and I just, I decided, and I only had 10 minutes to catch my train home and I decided to uh, forfeit my train ticket and go in and buy this book and stand in the queue and meet Frank and I exchanged a few words with him and he signed the book and it was a lovely, uh, a lovely moment for me because he's quite a character and so there's the, the signature, I don't know how well you can see it but um, yeah, it was a great pleasure to meet Frank and the book is excellent although I think it's, he has a newer, fuller um, biography out now but yeah excellent book. Uh, the next biography that I'd like to show you is this one. It's The Secret Life of Houdini, Harry Houdini, written by William Kalush, I think it is, and Larry Sloman. Very well researched book. I'm kind of fascinated by the life of Harry Houdini, um, the art that he put together, the whole um, escapologist uh, thing that he had, and the, it was just a, for me. It's one of these stories where someone comes from nowhere, a real kind of rags, rag to riches story and a fascinating character. There's there's a couple of things about his life that deeply interested me and one of those things was that he was kind of, he found himself in a situation where he was trying to get to the bottom, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? In the times when Houdini was alive, one of the big things at the time was mediumship. And people would go to these seances and try and get messages from their loved ones from beyond the grave. And it was something that was, it's still popular today of course, but back then it was a really big thing. And Houdini was found himself in a situation whereby he was attending these seances and trying to figure out the charlatans from the perhaps more genuine ones. I mean I don't know if I believe in that stuff. Uh, my mind's not completely closed off to it but anyway it was just very interesting the way Houdini would sit in on these seances and figure out how they were um, tricking people and pulling the wool over people's eyes because I mean to my mind mediumship if it's genuine then it's a wonderful thing if it's a trick and people are being deceived then I think people's feelings are being played with in the most grotesque unforgivable way and I love that about Houdini that he tried to catch these people out but as a consequence of of going down that line, he made a lot of enemies and these mediums and the people around them, they did not like being 
uh, showing up as con men or con women. And it was a serious business. He was in danger of his life from these people. And there's actually an interesting link here with Sir Arthur Conan Doyle who was involved in mediumship and he was very much at odds with Houdini and they were not the best of friends and um, yeah they were up against each other because of that whole situation but anyway it's a, it's a fascinating book I highly recommend it and very interesting character Harry Houdini Uh, the, the next book that I have to show you is a biography of Sir Jackie Stewart, one of the um, World Championship Formula One racing drivers from back in the day. He is a, a great character, I've got a lot of respect for Jackie, one of uh, Scotland's best sportsmen. I think. And he's called his book Winning Is Not Enough. And that is, as the title suggests, it's not just about the achievements that you that you attain, it's the way that you go about winning, it's the, the way that you live your life. And it's very much, his message is very much, uh, you know, it's about quality, not quantity. It's about how you live. It's not about what you achieve necessarily. Um, and I was very lucky because, again, this is another um, signed book. I met Jackie at a, a talk that he gave in Aberdeen. And he did a book signing afterwards. So it's an absolute pleasure to meet him, as brief as it was. And he's got a lot of great stories to tell about his life. He's done a lot of things and he's um, had a lot of adventures. And uh, it's a very interesting read. And it's a very inspiring read. Because I try and live my life in a, in a, in a good way, in a meaningful way. And um, Jackie's very much an inspiration. So, great book and a great pleasure to to meet the man. There's the, the photograph from the back when he was in his heyday. So, yeah, that's one of my the favourite books that I have in my entire collection. And the last book that I have to show you today is uh, an old library book, and it's uh, a biography of Marilyn Monroe. Someone else that I admire very much, and it's the biography by uh, Randy Tara Bolelli. <laughs> I wish I'd prepared the pronunciation for that name, so I'm almost certainly got that wrong. But needless to say, it's a great book. It's a very interesting book, and I think it's a very honest book. But the problem that I have, I suppose. Not just with this book, but with every biography, I think you have to be so guarded in a way as to what's true and what's not true in these books. You know, a lot of it comes from second-hand stories, from sources that may or may not be reliable sometimes. So it's always worth, of course, taking these stories with a little bit of a, not a pinch of salt, but you know, to be read in a slightly guarded fashion. But Marlon's life was, as most people know, exceptionally tough. She, and this is not a criticism of Marlon, but she did suffer from mental illness quite severely. And one thing that really jumped out at me from this book was the, the way in which Anyone that's suffering from a form of mental illness, from drug addiction, those situations can sometimes be maintained, you know, without the opportunity to recover or get better. 
And if you're famous, if you're glamorous, if you have money and a certain amount of power, then you can keep people that are worried about you and trying to do you good at a distance. And if you feel you need to take drugs to keep going, then you can do it. You can find people that will provide it. Although that wasn't difficult in Marlon's day. Um, but it's just so tragic, you know, that um, she was able to maintain this uh, situation where the drugs were being taken to survive the, the, the life that had been created for herself the, and the stresses that came along with it and as I've said people that were trying to help were kept at a distance and she wasn't going to be told no when it came to the drugs and the um, etc. So and the background, the pain in the background and the, um, the desire just to be taken seriously as an actress. It was, um, this is actually by far one of the best biographies that I've read. And although I've touched on the, the more negative aspects of her life there, I'm aware of that. There's so much positivity and great things also included in this book. The lighter moments, the fun, the bright side of her personality. So, and it's well worth a read. So I highly recommend this book. So, yeah, that's really all that I've got to talk about book-wise today. It's, uh, it's quite a nice day here in Scotland. The sun's out, although it's very cold which is normal, but um, so I'll probably go out and about now and, and do something um, outside. But uh, thanks for watching this video, uh, I do appreciate it. As usual, feel free to get in touch, tell me what you think, and um, thanks for watching. Bye for now.